yeah, basically to try to get the, the place fixed up to the point where at least it could become a basic operating center. I write my mathematical papers here, but there's not really a lot more I can do because there's been no money to really you know, fix the thing up as a laboratory, and I don't have the sources that I used to have for all that stuff. They're all gone. In fact, most of the materials are not even available anymore. So I have uh, a situation going where the government is allowing me to take over uh, abandoned telecommunications lines and either harvest them for the materials or to uh, reconstruct them. So that's what's going on right now. And because I'm building this on government land, they're forcing me to come up with a $10,000 cash bond. And that the main snag I'm facing right now is that. Why would they want to charge you 10 grand? Because that's just the way they do business. If I wasn't, you know, connected with the people on the inside, they would charge me 25,000. I'm getting a deal. Uh, it's not for transmitting, it's for receiving to large signals out of the earth. And, and also the mechanical, too. I have a, a very large seismograph pickup uh, configuration in a mine here uh, that's being uh, provided for me. So, so I'm really, you know, I'm getting something for my $10,000. There's no doubt about it. So facilities are just opening up for me here. Advanced uh, warning is derived from the electrical impulses that Earth generates days beforehand. Because if these signals exist, then they have a way when they come and go, and they all represent different phenomena of the Earth, like hurricanes, the Tesla transformers, the component, and, and all of these electrostatic alternating current technologies.